Hey guys, today I'm going to be analyzing the new episode of Gravity Falls, Weird Mageddon 2 Escape from Reality. This episode was definitely a good one, and it had some awesome gravity feels. I'm disappointed by the lack of Bill's screen time, but he should take up a lot more time in the next and final episode of the show. This episode had amazing continuity, probably some of the best in the show. Anyway, let's begin the analysis. The first thing I want to talk about is this strange force field surrounding Gravity Falls. For a while, it was assumed that Weird Mageddon was happening in other parts near the town, but this odd force field proves that this is not true. What is this strange force field, and how did it get there? As we know from A Tale of Two Sands, Gravity Falls was a town full of weirdness, which is why Ford came to it so he could investigate. There are tons of unsolved and strange mysteries in the town, and this force field is one of them. There's no explanation or evidence as to what brought the force field to the town, but this could help in stopping Bill during the next episode. If Bill is an all-knowing creature, and even he doesn't know what it is, then it could assist the main characters in stopping him. Even though there were tons of returning characters in this episode, it was cool to see the dog from Mabel smiled at hallucination in the inconveniencing. It just goes to show how much the writers work on getting the show to have great continuity. This trial scene when Dipper is giving his argument results in many gravity feels. He says that he and Mabel have been through so much together, and they have always been there for each other. When Dipper got no valentines in school, Mabel gave him a valentine to cheer him up, and Dipper helped Mabel out on picture day, when she had gum stuck in her hair. What we should take from this scene is that Dipper will always stay with Mabel, even if it means leaving Ford's apprenticeship. The awkward sibling hug was an amazing scene with great continuity. Because it appeared in the very first episode, it was very iconic, and everyone knew about it. But when it appears in the second to last episode for a second time, it strengthens Dipper and Mabel's relationship. Even though Mabel was extremely mad at Dipper for taking Ford's apprenticeship, they finally made up in this episode, and their bond is stronger than it ever was. In the last scene of the episode, we see Dipper, Mabel, Seuss, and Wendy all go to the Mystery Shack and discover that there is a resistance led by Grunkle Stan. In the resistance, we can see Old Man McGucket. He appeared one time in the Stan Tree and Candidate, but now he's finally outside and ready to fight again. In the next episode, he will probably meet Ford again after 30 years, and their encounter is going to be interesting to see. In the resistance, it's surprising to see the unicorn from the last Mabelcorn. After all, we expected this to be a character only for that one episode, but the Gravity Falls team gave us even more great continuity and added her to the resistance. And the multi-bear makes a surprise appearance, which isn't what anyone was expecting. But it's awesome to see all these characters make a return. There are still many characters that could make a comeback in the finale, and we'll have to wait to see if any of them return. In the end credits, the code says that Kraz and Exiler went on to run the legal department at a major children's television network. On the end page, the code says, when one gets trapped inside the past, dreams can turn to nightmares fast. This is just referencing how Mabel lost control and everything inside the dream bubble turned evil after she wanted to leave. Anyway, that's all for this video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment below to tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.